Did you know there are 14 undefeated wrestlers heading into conference championship weekend? They come from pretty much every division, from Big Tens to ACCs to Big Twelves uh, to EIWAs. There are undefeated w guys in pretty much every conference, and I'm going to tell you who is on this list. So let's take a look at this list right here as far as undefeated wrestlers. Uh, we, we look at e each weight class, kind of going down through the weight classes, and I'm not going to make this a massive deep dive, but I, these are some impressive guys that I wanted to bring up uh, just to talk about before conference championship weekend because a couple of these guys are still even flying under everybody's radar, which which that still blows my mind. But starting off with Spencer Lee, I mean, it's no surprise that he's undefeated uh, at 15 and 0. Uh, he was. You know, at this point in the season last year, wasn't undefeated, and actually, even the year before that was not. Uh, but the fact of his wrestling dominance is impressive. Uh, he he's most impressive win so far this season. I mean, beating the number two wrestler uh, in the Big Ten in Schroeder by Tech Fall with an eighty-seven percent bonus point percentage. I mean, he just elevates himself above the rest of the competition. But the other guys uh, that you have here are Jack Mueller at one twenty-five, uh, as well as Pat Glory, and each of these guys. Are going to give some competition to Spencer Lee at 125, uh, Mueller of Virginia and Glory of Princeton. Glory so far this season, his most impressive victory is over Nick Piccinini, a 9-4 to decision. Piccinini of Oklahoma State, of course, uh, being one of the m and very impressive wrestlers at 125 pounds. And Mueller, uh, going to last, looking back at last year, was actually undefeated at that point in the season. It was flying under many people's radars uh, and was undefeated going into the national finals. One of the few uh, wrestlers who were undefeated going into the national finals and ended up uh, losing to Spencer Lee. However, uh, he's having an impressive uh, season this season as well. And looking next to Chaz Tucker of Cornell, who's 28 and 0 on the season with wins over Trumbley of NC State, Montori Bridges, Todd Small, Sammy Alvarez, uh, being some of his most impressive victories. 28 and 0 on the season of, of Chaz Tucker from Cornell. Please. Be looking out for him this season and, and let me know who you are most looking forward to watching and how many of these guys will stay undefeated by the end of the season. Moving on is Nick Lee of Penn State, 18-0. Some impressive victories this year. I mean, 83% bonus point percentage. Um, Beating Luke Pletcher, the number two ranked guy, beating Mitch McKee, uh, Tristan Moran, Chad Red, just some of the top guys in his weight class is Nick Lee at 141. So moving on to 149 is Matt Kolodzik. He is one of the lone undefeated guys at that weight class because at the top you have Brayton Lee, Sammy Sasso, uh, Pat Lugo who all have kind of wins and losses to each other, Austin O'Connor, uh, all have wins and losses to each other but Matt Kolodzik considering the fact that he pulled his red shirt now he actually kind of came into his own and, and, and doesn't have necessarily any notable wins this season yet uh, but those those are sure to come and, and he could finish the year undefeated you never know if he if he wins out uh, and wins a national title Deacon is the next guy 18 and0 with wins over David Carr and Hayden Hidley uh, Deacon of Northwestern some impressive victories so far this season and those are sure to continue. Moving on to 165, a couple of guys here. One in Vincenzo Joseph, uh, who's 13 and 0, with his best wins over Ethan Smith, Josh Shields, uh, Isaiah White, Alex Marinelli, of course, being his most impressive victory over the rival, who he couldn't quite bridge the gap, but this year he did. And the other guy at 165 is Shane Griffith, flying under some people's radars from Sanford. Is Griffith uh, the young, the young freshman? Is 26 and 0, who has so far this season pinned Ethan Smith of Ohio State uh, as Southern Scuffle champion, which was one of his most impressive highlights so far this season. He beat Travis Whitlake, uh, Tanner Schedule of Navy, both those guys, tough guys, as well as most recently beating Josh Shields in sudden victory uh, of those being one of his most uh, recent victories is Griffith. So he's going to be a guy to, to look out for in the postseason. And he had a tight match, uh, I believe it was last year, with Vincenzo Joseph, 6-4 to four at the scuffle. So 
Another one to look out for in the postseason. Looking at Michael Kemmerer at 174, 13-0. Uh, of course, the most impressive victory over my, uh, over uh, Mark Hall this season. Mark Hall was the number one. Kemmerer, of course, beat him to become number one and be, and stay undefeated. Uh, he has wins over a couple other guys in his weight class as well, Skatska, uh, as well as Labriola and Lydie. Now, at 197 is Colin Moore, who's 24-0 and and hasn't had the spotlight over the last couple of seasons. Uh, last season especially not because Bo Nickel was at the weight class and he just you know beat Moore continuously. But this is Moore's year. 75% bonus point percentage, 24 0 more of Ohio State, uh, and has wins over many, many ranked guys in his weight class. And in, it really is the top guy there. Moving on to 197 as well is Noah Adams, who is the other undefeated guy at the weight class, 29 0 of West Virginia, has had an impressive season, Southern Scuffle champion, uh, as well. Uh, he has pinned Dakota Gear, beat Nathan Traxler of Stanford, uh, as well as a couple other uh, minor ranked victories. It'll be exciting to see how he does come in the postseason, uh, how he does against those other top ranked wrestlers in the weight class. And the last two guys, of course, here are Mason Paris and Gable Stevenson. Mason Paris, 26 and 0, Gable Stevenson, 12 and 0. Um, have not wrestled yet this season. They will wrestle at the Big Ten Championships, but will I mean one of them is sure probably to stay undefeated after this weekend. But you never know. These are every single undefeated wrestler heading into conference championship weekend. Uh, who do you think will stay undefeated? <laughs> 